Teddy Fragrance is back here with Parfums Vintage X Batch. This fragrance is a really, really good fragrance. It goes for about, I think, $69 for a 50 ml, which I think is a little steep, but the fragrance is very well balanced, very well put together. It has metallic notes on top with a little bit of neroli, and it has some of that pineapple that you get from Aventus mixed with the metallic soapy notes you get from Dior Sauvage and, and some of that sweetness in there. It's not overly sweet, it's it's very masculine, uh, but not overly masculine in a butch woody type of way. It's perfectly situated to fit in with other summer fragrances that are out in the uh, designer type of lane. It's very much a mass appealing type of fragrance. I can see a big house like Dior putting this out uh, itself as a flanker for Dior Sauvage if they wanted to. I don't have many type of soapy fragrances so this definitely fits in. I do plan on getting a bottle most likely this summer. Hopefully I can get a discount through Parfums Vintage but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, the projection and longevity. This one doesn't project like a beast um, because it doesn't necessarily have that harsh birch notes that I think Aventus and other fragrances like some of the some of their other uh, fragrances like Club de Nuit Intense have, which is very very powerful on me or at least my skin. This one is a little bit. It's actually much more classier than that. This one is harsh, very ple pleasant smelling. Definitely kind of has its own thing going uh, with the Dior Sauvage mixed with Aventus, like I said. You will get compliments on this. I haven't got an incredible, incredible amount, but yes, I have had people say that I smell soapy and clean and and everything in between. So this one is definitely the one I'll get a bottle from. Um, I had my friend try this out on his skin. I noticed that it smelled really good on him as well. This isn't really overpowering. I can see it being a signature scent in the summer. Longevity, I'm getting you know seven hours, and it doesn't really stay close to to the skin even leading up to those hours. So this one is a real good performer, guys. I want to hear what your thoughts on this X batch is. To me, if I could imagine somebody wearing this, I would say definitely a superhero, maybe Wolverine. I mean, the metallic notes are not screechy, but it's almost like if adamantium claws from Wolverine had a certain smell I would think it would smell like this like it just smells futuristic this fragrance it does it really really does but anyways love the scent top to bottom it's not super thick it's very clean it's not def it's definitely not a reserved scent you could overspray this and be cloying so be definitely be careful on the trigger but anyways this is little Teddy signing out I'll come back with a full review. This is just a little first impression slash review. I've worn this out a couple times, which is kind of difficult in the winter. I want to test this one thoroughly through the summer to really get a good firm grasp on this one. But anyways, this is Little Teddy Fragrances with Little Teddy Fragrances signing out. Peace.